hey friends welcome to this channel my name is angel kussi today i am here to fulfill my promise yes in one of my previous videos i promised you all a whole application process step by step so today i'm going to be showing you how to apply into universities here in the uk using ucas mm -hmm. what is ucas ucas is a university and college admission service UCAS is actually an independent service that helps with advice, information, and admission service to help facilitate educational progression. Now, there are some advices and important information I would like to share with you before you start your whole UCAS application. But before we move forward, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, like this video, and then share to others so that your application can be made easier. Now, let's go. The first advice is before you start anything, before you start any application, please make your research. Know the deadlines for university applications because if by any chance you submit and it's past their deadline, that submission or that application is invalid. The second thing I want to let you know is that UCAS is being paid for. Hello, UCAS is just an intermediary between the university and you, the university applicants, and it's a lot cheaper than some expensive agents out there. Actually, if you're applying to one university, it will cost you £22. And if you're applying to five universities, yes, you have the opportunity to apply to five different universities. That will cost you £26.50. Now, whichever country you're in, you can do the exchange rates and know how much it would be in your own currency. Lastly, there are deadlines for university applications. Please make your research, like I said earlier on and submit your application before the deadlines. I know for sure that September deadline is usually around 30th of June, but some university have a clearing list or clearance, something, something like that. So you can check and make sure you do not miss your university deadline. Let's get right into the whole process. On your web browser, you type in UCAS sign in. Google will bring out a list of options for you. Please look for the one that has UCAS.com, which is UCAS sign in, the one I just clicked on. It will take you to the UCAS website. When you get there, you will see sign in. If you have previously created an account, you can just sign in with your email address and password. But if you haven't, and this is your first time, just go to register you'll see a list of details that they would ask you for. The first is your email address, your first name, your last name, a password, because you have to set your password so you can always come back. You confirm your password. You see that box right there? Just click on it when you have read and understood the terms and conditions. Then you click on register. When you click on that, they will send you a verification code to your email address. You just have to wait when it's being sent. You put it right there and verify when you have verified you can see that that was the first name i put then you pick which year you would like to start your study your level of study which is undergraduate then you choose if you want additional information you click on next it will ask you where you live since this is for international students i pick nigeria your preferences please read this section carefully and answer correctly your home country code subjects you are interested in studying you have the opportunity to choose three i chose only only nursing you answer the last question and click on create account this will then take you to your hub which is the main UCAS website this is very user friendly just explore the hub and see what everything looks like okay so let's take a tour around the hub and see what they have in here for us Let's go and see what they have for us in all nursing courses. Back to the hub now. Everything here is well detailed and properly sectioned to make it all easy for you. If you've got any question, just go to the got a question section and ask any question. 
UCAS is so amazing that it has a personal statement builder to help you out with your personal statements. How wonderful is that? It has a list of questions that you have to answer so that writing your personal statements would be made easier. Isn't that amazing? I think we have explored enough. Let's now go back to the hub and start our application process by clicking on the start icon. Pick the year you would like to start your study and the level of study you are interested in. Scroll down and click on start application. Pick your right answer. This takes you to the main application profile. This profile is broken down into different sections where you have to impute all the required details. It also has a place where you can search for courses and add choice the university name, the course you would like to study, for nursing students, please be careful as there are different types of nursing. So carefully read this and choose the one you would like to study. Your course campus location. For nursing students, it's in campus. So that's main site. Your start date, the year you would like to start. Further details required. Points of entry. What year would you be starting from? Are you going to leave at home while studying? Then you save over to the criminal convictions. You feel the appropriate answer and save. This will then take you back to the hub and you can see the information you just filled in. You can also add five more choices. Now let's go and fill in the personal details. When you are done with this section, just mark it complete, save this section and move over to the next, which is contact and residency details. Please fill each box with the right answer and apply the same procedure to the other sections, such as the nationality details, supporting information and the rest. English language skills. This section is to prove your English language proficiency. So if by any chance English language is not your first language and you have written any form of English language proficiency test, then you would be able to submit your application here by clicking no then you provide all the informations like the ielts or tofu number just fill in the details when you're done mark the section complete finance and funding this section is for you to tell them how your tuition will be paid is it private or is it sponsorship whichever one just choose the one that best suits you from the drop down list education in this section just click on add choice and impute the name of the school you previously attended now in case the school's name isn't there just type the name in full and add the name to the box just like it says below it can automatically fill in your exam center number but if it doesn't don't worry about that as such exam numbers are for a level and so on so if you didn't write that just leave it and move over to the start date and the end dates seek the type of study you had in your previous place of education if you had any qualifications or not tick yes or no if yes then there is a space for you to add the qualifications you got from your previous place of education you also have the options of adding more places of education if you have more than one Take the highest level of education your course requires you to have. For nursing, it's below honours degree. Music 
for your personal statement if you have previously typed it down somewhere you can just copy and paste but if you haven't this box is for you to just start typing for the reference section if you do not need a reference you can just leave this whole place blank but if you need one then you would have to put in the details of your referee when you're done you'll see a reference site where you can share the link to your referee and they fill in all the details UCAS will inform you that your reference or your referee has done that after that please continue with your other applications when you go back to the application status you can see that the percentage is increasing that is because we have put in some details when you have filled this up with your choices profile personal statements and references it will then increase to 100 percent and from there you can pay your fees please ensure to fill in all the sections with the right answers if you need to contact them you can just click on contact us and then they can help you with any question or information you may be needing. When you are done with your application, just go back to the hub to your top right corner and you see your first name there. Click on the icon with your first initial and you see sign out kindly sign out when you're done with all that you want to do when you are finally done with your application process please i would advise you to always check the ucas track for any updates or information from the university and how far your application has gone secondly some courses and universities would require you to write a test it all depends on your university and the course. But I would want to tell the law students that you may just be required to write a test. So prepare for it. The third would be an interview. Some universities will require you to do an interview. I did an interview. So please prepare for your interview. The last thing I would want to tell you today is that the universities will surely get back to you on their final decision concerning your application and one of these three final decisions would be yours the first is you getting an offer the second is you getting a conditional offer if you get a conditional offer the school will give you a list of conditions you have to meet if you meet those conditions then you will be sent another unconditional offer the third would be a rejection meaning you didn't get it but then you see the advantage of applying to five different universities because surely you would be given one at least one offer now there's a difference between firm choice and insurance choice firm choice is your first choice that particular one you want to go to i hope it's rgu so that we can meet in my school <laughs> then if your firm choice is rgu surely you're going to get so far you have all the requirements and then your insurance choices if by any chance rgu or whichever school you wanted to go to doesn't give you that then your firm choice your insurance choice is actually your second choice or other choices you just have to go with because that particular university didn't give you admission this is the end of this video i wish you the very best in your ucas application process and i hope to see you guys in my school if my school is even on your list thank you guys for watching up to this point i hope this video will be very helpful for your whole application process don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share to others so that your ucas application can be made easier